Welcome back. So today it's all about intermediate pressure zones of anesthesia machine. We will integrate the flowcharts with practical videos of machine. We discussed in last episode how primary pressure regulator reduces the cylinder pressures to 45 psig beyond which the intermediate zone begins. So the zone basically ranges from pipeline supply all the way till behind the flow meters. The flow meters are part of low pressure zone. Now the hospital pipeline supply can enter OT from ceiling as either ceiling hose drops like this or they could be in the form of gas columns or articulating arms. You can also see the grey coloured corrugated line of active vacuum for anaesthetic gases here. The other end of these colour coded pipelines connects directly into the machine. Which brings us to the first safety feature of intermediate zone, the diameter index safety system. If we disconnect the blue coloured nitrous pipeline and try inserting it into oxygen inlet, it simply won't fit in. This is diameter index safety system, where a specific pipe inlet fits only into the right gas port and not otherwise. Like here, you see nitrous pipeline didn't fit into the oxygen inlet. So let's reinsert it back into the right port and there you go. Perfectly fitted back into its specific spot. In high pressure zone we discussed, we had pin index safety system for cylinders. Here we have diameter index safety system for the pipelines. Looking at machine from above, let's see what's going on inside the machine. So let's integrate our flow chart here. So we have the pipeline pressure of 55 psig and cylinder pressure coming in at 45 psig. So principally machine will utilize the pipeline pressure unless it falls below the 45 psig mark. Now green colored oxygen before going towards the low pressure zone gives a bypass outlet for auxiliary oxygen port and oxygen flush system. As discussed already, the pipeline pressure coming in at 55 psig, but if there is some disconnection or any problem with hospital supply system and suddenly oxygen pressure falls to zero. Since nitrous is coming as normal, so it would supply the hypoxic mixture to the patient, right? To prevent this mishap, the intermediate zone contains a vital component called failsafe in nitrous oxide pipeline. It carries a piloting line that connects oxygen line to the nitrous oxide line. This line is pressurized by oxygen. So as long as oxygen pressures are good, the failsafe would stay open and let nitrous flow. But when the oxygen supply in common oxygen line drops, it would reduce the piloting pressure in connecting line and shut the failsafe. This way nitrous oxide supply will also be stopped to prevent hypoxic product. In newer machines, it's called the Oxygen Supply Failure Protection Device or Balance Regulator depending on the model and company. In older machines, it is called Failsafe or Nitrous Cutoff. Now the difference between these older versus new devices is that Failsafe is binary in nature. That is, it completely shuts off the valve once the pressure of the oxygen falls below 20 psig. The newer machines Having balance regulator or OFPD is a proportioning device that is proportionately reduces the nitrous oxide in a gradual way subject to oxygen pressure drops until it finally completely shuts nitrogen at oxygen pressures as low as 0.5 psig. Now adding to the safety features of intermediate zone further the failsafe or balance regulator. The third safety feature is low oxygen pressure alarm system that signals when the oxygen pressure falls below 20 psig. So is this fail safe as the name suggests? Is it truly fail safe? The answer would be a big no. You cannot completely rely on it. What if say the hospital pipeline of oxygen is accidentally contaminated with other gases? Then the pressure would remain 55 psig and fail safe would stay open for nitrous oxide flow, right? Now this is very important to learn as anesthetist. If this is the case, don't just open the e-cylinder expecting the cylinder will deliver the gas. Since we already said the machine would keep on using the pipeline as source of gas unless the pipeline pressure falls below 45 psig. So even if you open the cylinders in urgency, they won't work. Unless you first disconnect the pipeline from machine, a common mistake many studies have suggested that residents do in emergency. 
Now the remaining two components of intermediate zone are auxiliary oxygen port and the oxygen flush system. So let's come to the front panel of machine and see where these two are located. Now we have already touched on oxygen flush in the first episode on this series. Let's see auxiliary oxygen port. Since auxiliary oxygen port bypasses the low pressure electrically and pneumatically powered systems, it serves as a vital source of oxygen in case the machine malfunctions. Now you can see the machine is off and I can still open the auxiliary oxygen port. That is supplying oxygen from pipeline. I have connected the oxygen line to it. You could either use it for oxygen delivery in spinal anesthesia cases or if in emergency the machine malfunctions but the pipeline pressures are normal then you could attach the ambu to it for emergency breaths until you fix the issue. So adding oxygen port and oxygen flush to the components of intermediate zone now the final component is the second stage regulator. We know that the primary pressure regulator reduces the cylinder pressures from 2000 psig to a safer level of 45. Newer machines have secondary pressure regulators as well placed in the intermediate zone that further reduce this pressure to 15 to 35 psig before the low pressure system starts. Now this helps supply constant lower pressure to flow meters acting as a let's say reservoir to fluctuations in pipeline or cylinder pressures right so adding the fourth component to the intermediate zone the secondary pressure regulator this is all one needs to know about intermediate zone of anesthesia machine next up we will finally come to the low pressure zone and its vital components of flow meter and vaporizers if there are any questions drop a comment in comment section box thank you